Hallelujah. We won't waste much time. We just invite our dear pastor, Pastor Martha, to minister to us today. Uh, hallelujah. And then after that, we come family by family to give our thanks to you. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome to Thanksgiving Sunday. Yes. Our thanks will not be in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. As we give, come together today to give God thanks, we will be increased. God will increase us. Yes. Our blessings will be increased yes. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Our lives will be prolonged yes. in good health and sound mind in Jesus' name. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thanksgiving. Can we go to extra? Three verse eleven, please. Oh. Extra three verse eleven. Thank you. Come on, you're not getting it. It's off. Where? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and they stand together by cause in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord because He is good. Our God is good. For His mercy endured forever towards Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord. Because the foundation of, of the house of the Lord was laid. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Israelites came together after God had brought them out. After God brought them back to the land of Israel. Their land, they entered, they were, they, they were given their land back. They all came together to come and thank God with one voice. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thanking God brings blessing. Yes. Praise the Lord. What, what, what will it feel like when you give your child something or your child gives you parent something and you don't say thank you? Do you think that person will be happy to give another? No. no. Praise the Lord. So it is very important that we give thanks to, give to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We come together and sing and dance and glorify His holy name. Then the heavens will be open and blessings will be released upon us. Praise the mighty Lord. The children of Israel came to appreciate God for returning them back to their own land and also giving them the opportunity to lay their temple. The temple of God was laid again. That was a great thing. That was a great thing for the children of God to lay the temple again to worship God there and to praise God there. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What is the thanksgiving there for? Thanksgiving is an act of appreciating the great uh, work of God. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving is a is a, is, is a way of acknowledging god of telling him that you appreciate everything that he has done in your life and in the lives of your family in the lives of everyone in the community thanksgiving gives us the privilege to communicate with god when you communicate when you when you thank god the heavens are open and blessings have come could really be released praise the lord Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving in another way is, is a, it's an heart of honoring God. You come before him to tell him how much you love him. You come before God to say 
Lord, I appreciate what you did. And here is my thanksgiving. You, you can thank God with everything around you. You can thank God with your mouth. You can thank God with your resources. You can thank, thank God with your dance, with everything. Praise the Lord. Psalm 48, 1 to 3. Praise the Lord. Psalm 48, 1 to 3. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of God, in the mount of, mountain of his holiness. Go on. Beautiful for situation. Our God is beautiful for situation. There's, there's nothing, no circumstance that you will be that God will not be there. He said in everything we should give him thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The joy of the whole health. Our God is the joy of, of, of the whole earth. And the more you thank him, the more joy you have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In Mount Zion, on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. Our God is a great king. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. He deserves he deserve all our times. God deserves all our times. The more you thank God, the more confident you become because you know you have given him thanks. His blessings is upon you. His blessings are upon you. He favors you when you give him thanks. Praise the Lord. The psalmist in this chapter thank God for his greatness. God is a God, God is greatness himself. And no one, nothing can be compared to that. Our God is great. His second name is greatness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we give God thanks, our our attackers are defeated. You can see it in the life of in the life of David the psalmist. When he gave God thanks, all his attackers, all his haters were defeated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Any trouble you are going through, give God thanks. And you with your hand, your hand, you, you will be above your enemies. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lamentation 322, please. Praise the Lord. Lamentation 3, 22. It is the Lord's message that we are not consumed. Everyone can access to that. Praise the Lord. Because his compassion faileth not. Fail not. Praise the Lord. Twenty-three, please. They are new every morning. Great is the faithfulness. When you give God praise and thanks, your blessings become new every day. He renews your blessings. He renew everything around you. He renews your age as well. You can see the way Pastor Marie is looking like 50 years old woman. It's because she gives thanks to God every day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you give thanks to God, He renews your blessings. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is a faithful God. He never lies. He promised, it is been promised when we, are, when we give Him thanks that He's going to bless us. And when we give him, you can see it in the lives of everyone in foundation ministry. It's our thanks and praise to God, our worship to him that is making us look like this. See our children. When we are their age, we are not, we are not able to do what they are doing. What they do now, we are, we are not able to do it. Because they were brought up in the house of the Lord. They know what it takes to give God thanks. They know what it takes to give God praise. 
And that is why their life is being flourished with the blessings of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 89 verse 20. Then Lamentation also tells us that when we give God praise uh, thanks, He encourages us. The Holy Spirit encourages us. And when you are being encouraged by the Holy Spirit, your confidence is increased. You are not afraid of anything. Nothing moves you. It's because you give thanks to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Psalm 89 verse 20. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. Have I allotted him? Praise the Lord. Go on. With whom my hand shall be established. My hand shall also strengthen him. Go on, please. The enemy shall not exert upon him, nor the sons of the wickedness are fleeting. Praise the Lord. Go on. And, and I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. Yes. 24, please. But my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be exalted. Amen. As we have come today to praise the Lord, our horns shall be exalted. Amen. God will uplift us, God will promote us. God will increase us. In this month of June, we will not lack any good thing. We, we, we will dwell in safety in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil will befall us in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil report will we hear concerning anyone that is connected to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Why do we then praise God? Why do we praise God? We pray, praise God because we want to be favored by Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to be favored by God. Thanksgiving brings favor, brings about favor from God. Our thanksgiving motivates God to do more. When you give God praise for what He has done, from the month of January to this very time, God has done great things in your life. And that is why you are alive now, sitting here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are many that saw the beginning of January, but they cannot tell of today. You are alive not because you know how to do it best, not because you are the best worshiper, not because you, are, you live a sinless, uh, sinless life, but because of his grace upon you. That is why we are here. He has favored us with grace. That is why we are here today. Praise the Lord. That's one reason why we praise God. We praise God to be favored. For him to increase his favor upon us. For him to increase his grace upon us. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. John 11, 4, please. John 11, please. Oh, sorry, John 11, 4. Yeah. When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified therefore. Praise the Lord. When, when they went to Jesus Christ to tell him that um, Lazarus was dead, when Jesus arrived, the first thing he did was to give thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first thing he did was to give thanks. Our thanksgiving brings about miracle. Praise the Lord. That was Jesus knows that when we give thanks to God, whatever he asks, he will get. That was why he, when he came, the first thing he did was to first praise God, give thanks to God. And he immediately he did that. It's only a word that he spoke. And Lazarus got up from his grave. 
Praise the Lord. This month, the 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 the, 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 um, the um, so our Thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. This month, our Thanksgiving will bring miracle, bring about great miracles in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Second Chronicles five thirteen. Praise the Lord. Second Chronicle five thirteen. It came, it came even to pass as the trumpeters and the singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking God, thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voices with the trumpets and the cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his mercies endure it forever. That the house that the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thanksgiving brings down the glory of God. When we render thanks to God, his glory comes down to dwell with us. Everyone can attest to it on Friday. We know that God was here. He was here himself. Because the glory, the thanksgiving, and the worship was on, the, on, on, on another level. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our thanksgiving brings, brings um, the glory of God down. Praise Master Jesus. We should learn to render um, thanks to God so that our glory will be increased. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Our glory will be increased. His glory fills the house. When you thank God, the glory everywhere, the glory of God is, 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 is visible. You can feel it. You can feel it that He's here with us. Amen. Depending on the level of your thanksgiving and your worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalm 50 verse 14. Psalm 50 verse 14, praise the Lord, deliverance, our thanksgiving, offer unto God thanksgiving and pay the vows unto the most high, go on please, and call upon him in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me, when you call on, when you give God thanks, when you are in trouble, any kind of trouble at all, he would, and you call on him, he will deliver you. Praise the Lord. Thanksgiving brings about deliverance. God will deliver you when you call upon him in any trouble that you are. When you give him thanks. Praise the Lord. Psalm 138. Thanksgiving also attracts attracts perfection. Yeah. When you when you are healed, like you were let's say you were sick and God heals you. When you give him thanks, that healing will be perfected. <laughs> that healing will be perfected. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't just get well and just ignore God. No. He needs you to come back and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for healing me. And that sickness will never come return back to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 8. Samuel 138 verse 8, please. The Lord will perfect that which consigned me. The mercy of the mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. God will not happy for him to heal you and the sickness come back. He doesn't glorify him. He doesn't, he doesn't, even, he doesn't even bring a, a, a happiness to him. He does not glorify him. 
So when God, in any trouble, in any situation that you find yourself, when God heals you, when God delivers you, come back and say thank you. Even if you don't have um, money to, like, to, to, to pledge or whatever, you just use with a dance. With a dance, it's good that you can, you, if you are able to, to, to thank him with a gift, or with anything at all. But in the case you don't have, don't say because I don't have, I'm not coming out to say thank you. No. God sees the heart. God, it's not, it's not even what you put down that determines your perfection. It's from the heart. How you feel in, in your heart is what God will see. It's what God will see to perfect your healing. Praise the Lord. So when whatever situation you are going through, when you get delivered, delivered by God, when you get healed by God, return the thanks back to Him. He deserves all our thanks in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Genesis 1.28. Thank you. Genesis 1.28. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the head, and over, ev over every living thing that moves upon the head. Praise the Lord. Thanksgiving brings about increase and multiplication. If God gives you a child and you come back to give praise, to give thanks, to worship him because of that child, God's hand will be on, upon that child. God will see that child grow to fulfill destiny. Whatever God in your academics, if you do well in your academics, Come back in your, in, your, in your exams, come back and give thanks to God. So that next year, you will even do better than you have done this year. Thanksgiving attracts blessing. It increases blessing. It, it multiplies everything that God has given you. If you are thankful to God, it, 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 it keeps it keep looking for what to do to you because you are, you are being thankful to Him. Praise the Lord. So we should not get blessed and just say, okay, he said he would bless us. No. You have to come back and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for keeping me alive. Even the day we see, when it's going to bed and waking up, it's enough to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. So that throughout the day, if you wake up in the morning and you say thank you, Lord, if throughout the day, he will not let the plague of the enemy to come near you. He will not. He will preserve you. Because you have already thanked him for that one he did through the night. The battles that we cannot see that he has fought through the night. You have thanked him for that. So it's going to cook, it's going to preserve you throughout that day. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord will continue to pre preserve us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thanksgiving reduces stress and fear. Do you agree with me? Thanksgiving reduces stress and fear. When you have been a thankful heart, heart is not afraid of anything. It's not afraid of anything. Even if there's war, God knows how to preserve you. If it's happening at the front, he will take you to the back. When it's happening at the, at the back, he will take you to the front. He has a way of, of escape, may giving us a, a escape. The way we can escape is only when we thank him. Thank we can say we can I can be here today to count everything while everything the advantages of being thankful to God. You know, it's so just too many. So so much. You know. Praise the Lord. 
we should live a life of you just just like like David, the psalmist. It's always we thank, thanking God for every little thing. He thanks God for it. And that is why you see his, his life that way. That is why he was blessed. Even when he fell, when he fell, God, God forgave him and, and he continued. The strength was still there. Thanksgiving increases strength. Increases your strength. You can't be thankful to God and you'll be weak. No way. No way. No way. Praise the Lord. We should make it. We should make it. Praise the Lord. Some people are annoying the spirit of God. Yeah. They are telling me to run off. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> so we should learn how to thank God. It's not a new thing for us in foundation ministry. Well, I'm just reminding us. It's what we do. We are very good at doing that. Even people outside know that we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are number one in giving thanks to God. You know? Our God, our God is worthy of so our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, I will say uh, the, the advantages of thanksgiving. You know that whatever has the advantages also has disadvantages. You know? Can we go to Romans 1 2? That's, I think that's the last one for those of you that want me to leave. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Romans 1 21. Is it 1 2 or 1 2? Romans 1 1 and 20. The disadvantages of not pray, giving God thanks because that when they knew God. when they knew God, yeah. they glorified Him not as God. Neither were they, neither were were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolishness, their foolish heart was darkened. Can you go to two, please? Their spirit, their foolish hearts was darkened. Can you go to 22, please? Oh. Prophesying, uh, hey, this is what I want. Prophesying themselves to be wise, they became foolish. Is it? They became foolish. Uh, they became fools. Huh? Yeah. Because God, God blesses you. We have so many of them in our community. You know, once they receive the blessing of God, they become arrogant. Mm -hmm. You don't know if someone is humble until they are rich. You know, you might see somebody, you will say, ah, oh, this, this person is humble. Let the money come their way. Let fame come their way. Let opportunities come their way. You know, I know it's not everyone. Some still have everything and they are humble to God. They give thanks to God. But the foolish ones, the proud ones, they think they are both, they are both God that created them. Don't let your words distract you from giving God thanks. Don't let your words, don't let your faith distract you from praising God. So that that blessing, you know you can have things, something, you can be blessed today and tomorrow if that blessing is gone. It's not our portion because we know God has taught us how to do it. So that wouldn't be our portion. Praise the Lord. So I'm just saying that don't let your words make you to be, let, don't let your words distract you from praising God and giving Him time. Don't let the faith that you have distract you from praising God. You always give him thanks. He's the owner of everything that you have anyway. So why will you not make shakara for him? Eh? Praise the Lord. Can we all just, I just have one prayer point. Can we stand a place? 
Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, I shall come into your home, your house today, and I come into your house today to offer my thanksgiving to you. I pray, O oh Lord, that you usher me and my family into 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 dominion, into the next stage of my life. Use my thanksgiving, O oh Lord, to direct me to my destiny, heaven. Use my destiny, use my thanksgiving, O oh Lord, to direct me to men and women of substances. So you round it up and just pray. Anything you want for yourself, as you are about to thank God for the ones He has done in the month of January, in the month of February, in the month of March, in the month of May, April, in the month of May, as you have come to give Him thanks for those months, that God, as we enter into this new month, the month of June, that the Lord will use our thanksgiving, He will use our praise, He will use our worship to usher us into our our, our great destiny in the, in the next month, that he will, he, he, will, he will use our thanksgiving to usher us to men and women of substances that will take us to our next level in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, King of glory, I come to you, O Lord. I come with my son, Prince. I come with my children, uh, 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 children, O Lord. I come with every youth in foundation ministry. I come with all the children in foundation ministry, O Lord. I come, O Lord, with everyone in this community and this county, Claire. I come, O Lord, with everyone, O Lord, in, 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 in the whole county in Ireland, O Lord. That this month of June, O Lord, that your blessing will be released upon us. That we will not know lack in any way, O Lord. That you will multiply like that which you have given to us, O Lord. That, O Lord, that you will favor us. That you will preserve us, O Lord. That you will, and the Holy Spirit will encourage us. We will not be depressed in the mighty name of Jesus. We will not be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh. That the oil of greatness will be released upon us in every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord. Because we have spoken to a God that has ears that can hear us. And so a God that has hands that can deliver. In this month of June, O Lord, you will deliver us, O Lord. You will deliver everyone that is connected to us, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen.